All right, so for the fool's errand workout today, um, it seems a little bit confusing, but I should have, I think I have all the math and stuff in the athlete's notes for you. If you just wanna write that down for yourself as you're doing it so you don't have to think about doing the math, okay? Um, but how it's gonna work. First round, you're gonna do one burpee, you're gonna do two step ups or box jumps, and you're gonna do three sit ups, okay? The second round or the next round, you're gonna use a multiplier of three. So you're gonna do three burpees, okay? Then you're gonna do six box jumps or step ups, and then you're gonna do nine sit ups, okay? That next round jumps to five. So now you multi multiply everything by five. So you've got five burpees, you've got 10 box jumps or sit ups step ups, sorry, and 15 sit ups. You're gonna go all the way through until 11, okay? So, um, burpee, just like normal or CrossFit style burpee, we're gonna lay all the way down to the ground, chest and thighs are touching the ground. We're gonna stand and jump, standing tall, uh, hands over our head at the top, okay? However you choose to get down, however you choose to get up, it's totally fine. If you want to roll, you want to lay, you want to step, you want to do whatever, all of that is good. It's totally fine as long as the chest and the thighs are touching the ground and you come off the ground at the top, okay? All right, so then the second movement is a step up or a box jump. Since I've got a chair here at home, I would do a step up. I'm just going to step that foot all the way up, standing tall at the top and then coming back down. And I would switch feet as I do it, so I'm getting both sides equally involved, okay? Make sure we stand tall at the top, that we don't stay bent over. So if we're doing a step up, we don't wanna do that, okay? And then the very last thing we've got is sit-ups. Um, if you've got an ab mat at home, great. If you don't, great. You can take a towel, a uh, blanket, a pillow, something like that, roll it up, put it under the lumbar spine. Gives us just a little bit more flexion. We're doing a little bit more work with the abs. Otherwise, um, you can just do a regular sit. So what we're working on is we're gonna try to lay the shoulders all the way down. We're gonna try to make the shoulders come all the way forward of this hip crease at the top, okay? So here would be neutral. I wanna go past neutral forward, all right? So simple movements, again, rep schemes, a little bit interesting, keeps it, keeps it interesting, and we'll go from there. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, concerns, all that good stuff, all right.